Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to explain what barometric pressure is. When you look at a weather map, you will see these kind of lines and you'll see H's and L's on it. And then you'll see numbers, although you can't ever read the numbers and the numbers aren't really very important. But what they represent are the actual pressure. Now, normal atmospheric pressure would be one bar, represented by the line here. And pressure may be lower or may be higher. And what you get are troughs of pressure and hills of pressure, you might say. It's just like a, uh, a contour diagram. So where there is a higher pressure, the pressure gets higher and higher until you reach peak pressure here, or lower and lower until you uh, reach the trough. Now, obviously, these differences in pressure, which we call barometric pressure, these differences are produced by the way the Earth's atmosphere moves and by the temperature of the surface and so forth. So there are various factors that affect the pressure of the air at any point. And of course, as we know, if we've got a high pressure area and a low pressure area, we would expect movement of air from one to the other. And it is this that produces wind currents and so forth. Well, it doesn't go straight like that. It tends to swirl, and it tends to swirl in a particular direction, and that is what produces the winds. Now, if it's a low-pressure area, we have to remember that low-pressure area is quite small, whereas the surrounding areas are quite large. And therefore, where you get a low-pressure area, you would expect the winds to be strongest and the weather to be worse. Where there is a high-pressure area, it's bound to be fairly stable because the air moving from the high-pressure area has a bigger area to move from, moving into the low-pressure area. So, that is basically what barometric pressure is and how it works on the surface of the Earth.